Is time travel possible? We can definitely travel into the future by moving faster relative to everybody else. Time is an illusion, an existing phenomenon we have existed with ever since. That sounds like quite a statement, but it's hell true. What is time? How does it create? Where does it come from? Does this exist before the universe? That's a puzzle you can never solve. This is a delusion we pass our lives with. Not a single person till yet could have ever described what time really is. It's just something we're born with. Or maybe that's the reason why we are born. Neither you can travel back, nor the universe can say anything about time. That's no less than watching an unsolved murder mystery. But curiosity never dies. And you must know human curiosity is something else. Do you really think we can travel past time? This sounds insane. Imagine you're all grown up wandering in the backyard and suddenly found a big machine dug inside. You take it out, do some maths, and boom, you're inside it. You get back to the time when your father's father, and even his father, isn't born yet. People are sending letters through pigeons instead of WhatsApp. There's no social media, but small in-person meetings underneath trees. How'd you find this world? Absolutely outdated, totally a nightmare to digest, extremely backward, and hell uncomfortable. That's it. This would happen if you ever get to travel past time, if such a machine really existed. However, now think of another perspective. Can you create a time machine during a time when one already exists, and you yourself are part of someone's travel time? Does this sound complex enough? But that's the real game. If time exists, you might be living in someone else's time. We're maybe 1,000 years behind, and someone just dug into a machine in another universe and found us, figuring out life. In his world, people may directly fly in the air instead of using rides. There might be no WhatsApp, but they all telepaths the thoughts. I mean, who knows what's really happening? But apart from everything, there's something we call paradox. A time paradox, also known as a temporal paradox, is a situation in which the sequence of events and the effects of time traveling become logically biased and inconsistent. Let's consider you receive a letter from your future self. He's telling you how beneficial it would be if you invest in a particular stock that will put off massive profits. You follow these instructions and become extremely rich and wealthy. But where did this letter come from? Who sent this? Who first put up the information about successful stocks? There might be a few possibilities you may encounter. First up, there may be a causal loop possibility. The letter you received from your future self may have no clear origin, and your future self may only know about the stock because you received the information from them in the past. This loop of information has no clear starting point, but altered future possibilities can also exist. The letter you received may have already shuffled the course of the event. Simply put, this led to a totally different future than the one your future self originally experienced. I know the possibilities are no less than a juggled puzzle, but this is what we call time paradox. Since the future you were supposed to live might no longer be possible or even in existence. However, the time paradox doesn't end here. There are five bizarre time paradoxes explained by science, and each of them is crazily mind-boggling. None of the time-traveling theory is related to Einstein's general theory of relativity. He only made statements on time dilation. But the idea of going back in time clashes with a fundamental principle of physics, causality, which is about cause and effect relationships. This clash led to creating paradoxes. Science and time travel movie fans have struggled to understand these paradoxes since they challenge our understanding of how the world works. First up, we've got the predestination paradox. Time travel with the predestination paradox is such fun. This is an utter definition of living illogical dreams. This paradox happens when the action of a person traveling back in time becomes part of past events that ultimately led to situations that you didn't want to happen. Even if you try to prevent it, you can't take back the outcomes. It was already destined. You can't alter the events as per your desire. It's like being stuck in a loop where the outcome is always the same, no matter what you do. This paradox raises questions about free will and whether we can really change the future through time travel. 
However, let's consider an example. Imagine you had a dream where you found to be passing a job interview for which you weren't prepared well. The next day, when you wake up, you put up extra effort to work hard, and when the day finally arrives, you perform exceptionally well and get the job. In this case, your dream appeared as an event that pushed you to work hard. If not, you might have failed it. That's what we call the predestination paradox. The job was destined and led you to a dream to put in some extra effort. This creates a loop where the dream is both predicted and influenced by the future outcome. Secondly, there is another paradox known as the bootstrap or ontological paradox. This paradox occurs when a particular person, object, or whatsoever is sent back to a time and found to have no clear origin or any history about it. This ultimately leads to an infinite loop where anything appears from anywhere and the whole universe is totally blank about its origin. Do you know the movies Star Wars George Lucas wrote about? This might be an ontological paradox, since the script of the movie has no true origin. He might have traveled back, seen this event happening, came back to us, wrote a movie, and directed it, which led to the time paradox that makes no sense. Think of a moment you traveled back to the 18s from the 20s when William Shakespeare was already in existence. You handed him a copy of his own work. Now it's unclear who actually wrote those works originally. Did Shakespeare write them? And if yes, why did he not know about them? Or did he get them from a time traveler? That's the paradox. Because the information or object seems to loop back on itself with no clear starting point or origin. Next up, there comes the grandfather paradox. This time, paradox hints towards self-inconsistent solution to a timeline's history caused by traveling back in time. Imagine you traveled back in time and stopped your own grandfather to meet your grandmother. This raises a big problem. If your grandparents never met, your parents wouldn't have been born, which means you wouldn't have been born either. So if you have never been born, how could you travel back and prevent your grandpa? This creates a totally mind-boggling paradox with no clear beginning, challenging our understanding of how time and causality work. Now consider another scenario. You walk to the past, popped a pistol into your grandfather's head, and boom, he's shot dead. Now, when you return to the present, you've not existed here. Everything about you is erased. You don't have any family, friends, or ancestors, and everything you were connected to be it the bank balance, country, home, or school, has vanished as it had never existed before. Scientists entertain the possibility that you have now created an alternate timeline or entered a parallel universe. Let's kill Hitler. No, we're not talking about killing Adolf Hitler, but it's another paradox somehow related to bootstrap and grandfather. This paradox says, just like you went past time and killed your grandfather, it ultimately resulted in your no existence and might have a butterfly effect. But if you walked the past and killed Hitler, you may save the world from potential disasters. It simply tells us if Hitler didn't almost destroy the world, there would be no reason to travel behind time in the first place. Hitler's actions wouldn't cause you to want to make an attempt to kill him if he were killed. Lastly, the paradox number fifth is the Polchinski paradox. Joseph Polchinski was a physicist who came up with this paradox hypothesis. It involves a billard who entered a wormhole and came out in the past, where it stops its younger self from entering the wormhole. Joseph and other scientists were widely in favor of this paradox, since the general theory of relativity has evidence that time travel and closed time-like curves, CTCs, are possible. It says events can be consistent without the need for free will. It is also related to Novikov's self-consistency principle, which suggests that while time travel might be possible, it shouldn't lead to paradoxes. It is about ensuring that time travel does not create illogical or contradictory situations. However, while discussing the time paradox, you may wonder if self-fulfilling prophecies are a paradox. Simply put, self-fulfilling prophecies are not a paradox. Instead, it's a situation where a prediction becomes true because people believe in it and behave as if it's true. Consider someone making a statement at confidently that Japan will start building a new high-tech bullet train in the 21st century. If you ask Japan, it may not even know about it, but once this idea is out of the box, people will eventually start planning for it. They plan and build high-speed trains, and it becomes true because of their actions, 
not because it was inevitable. That's what we call self-fulfilling prophecies. It's all about making assumptions. If we put this paradox in real life, you may find this example fulfilling in self-help books. They say, if you put in effort and believe you'll be successful, you'll get the desired results. It's a feedback loop where your beliefs influence your behavior and in turn, your reality. It's not a paradox, but a cause and effect relationship. Time paradoxes are like an unsolved puzzle in time traveling. This leads us to the butterfly effect that shows us that even little, unmattered changes can lead to big events. For example, you find a machine, it's a simple event, but you go inside it to find the past now. This is something big. Some people have a firm belief if you travel past time, you'll mess up the whole history no matter how much you try to stay neutral. Just as a scientist took a step to travel time to see dinosaurs and is super careful not to change anything, but when he returned to reality, everything had already changed. That's the butterfly effect he would feel. His present presence might have been removed, or dinosaurs may have started existing in the current world. You know what I mean? The scientists would realize that they accidentally stepped on a butterfly and that tiny action changed everything. Time paradox is like a warning. If you travel past the time to fix everything that went wrong, you will find yourself opening another infinite loop that has no go back. Travel can be tricky, and even the smallest actions might have big consequences. But what the heck is the butterfly effect? Is it those little beautiful flies or something else? This concept was basically derived from chaos theory. That's a branch of mathematics and science that studies the behavior of complex systems. Even the term butterfly hints to us. This is something about as minor as a butterfly's wing flap, but can form a tornado on the other side. Chaos deals with the systems that are not completely normal, most likely those that are highly insensitive to initial conditions. This sensitivity to initial conditions is what gives rise to the butterfly effect. For example, our weather pattern. It's more chaotic than you can ever imagine. When the weather behaves abnormally, one lightning flash in Brazil can cause heavy rain tide in Texas. It illustrates the idea that small disturbances can have far-reaching consequences in a complex system like the Earth's atmosphere. Also, consider world economics. A small, tiny fluctuation in stock markets leads to a drop and rise in the prices of all goods. That's the butterfly effect in the time paradox. Despite this, have you ever heard about the parallel universe, like the universe ahead of our universe, or multiverses? The multiverses, or parallel universe, is such a fascinating concept of science that challenges our traditional understanding of time, causality, and the nature of existence. Talking about multiverses, this tells us about the infinite other universes, or parallel realities. These universes are thought to coexist alongside our own, each with its unique set of physical laws, constants, and even different versions of ourselves. These parallel universes also have their own time laws. That's the concept science fiction writers mostly write about. Multiverse theory literally led to a whole new literature genre no one saw coming ages ago. But when we see parallel timelines, it's a direct consequence of the well-known butterfly effect. In a multiverse, each action, decision, or event leads to a branching of realities. But in parallel, you might make a specific choice, while in another, you make an entirely different decision. This parallel timeliness represents different possible outcomes from the same starting point. Time travel is also linked with parallel timeliness. Both ideas say, by traveling past time, you can alter the history or course of events that eventually affect the future as well. But these realities can also vary dramatically, depending on the nature of time travel and paradoxes. These concepts also open up questions related to identity, causality, and moral responsibility. For instance, do we have a multi-identity? Are we living in the past or in the future? Are we part of someone else's time? Is the other universe 1,000 years away from us? These are thousands of abnormal questions. And the fun part is, we can't even assume one real answer out of them. When it comes to historical alterations, we've got moral questions like, if time travelers have the ability to change historical events, what are the ethical implications of altering the past? You know, time travel isn't just a mere concept now. 
It has become a full-fledged puzzle scientists are eager to find out, be it multiverses, parallel time, infinite universe, or whatever. Everything seems to be related to traveling past time. Even though we've discussed the butterfly effect, would it be possible for time travelers to be held morally responsible for the unintended consequences of their actions, especially when they alter the course of history? Even free will also comes into this discussion, like, do time travelers charge their powers with time, with caution and responsibility? How does their free will intersect with the potential for causing harm or benefit to others? But everything aside, no matter how time traveling seems fascinating, it comes with behemoth consequences. Once you travel past time, the changes in historical alterations lead to altered historical narratives. This can change the whole cultural identity of a nation. As if you go back and even slightly make a change to the past, the entire future will be shuffled. Traveling also leads to temporal conflicts. If there are several groups of individuals with different agendas about altering the past, it will lead to major beef that could even extend into the present or future, resulting in new ethical dilemmas. The grandfather paradox rightly highlighted the moral abnormalities so well. When you get back and prevent your own grandfather from meeting your grandmother, you might not have come into existence yet. This seemingly innocent act can have severe consequences, including your own non-existence, your father's non-existence, and your sibling's non-existence. That's the extent of traveling time. It takes us to such paradoxes we can't afford to cope with. The paradox challenges the ethics of time travel, raising questions about the moral responsibility of individuals who engage in such actions. There's also a familiar phenomenon we call the trolley problem. It wholeheartedly contributes to the complex consequences and raises questions on the morality of time traveling. It involves a moral dilemma where one must decide to take action that sacrifices one life to save many. Let's consider if someone decides to travel past time, he will have to decide whether he wants to save the past from absurd disasters and stay in the present to prevent such catastrophes that can save thousands of lives. This scenario forces people to grapple with complex ethical decisions. However, to address these moral concerns, time traveler should have a code of conduct that guides their actions and responsibilities. Simply put, this little value of regulations may lead to non-interference with significant historical events and less unintentional consequences. Nevertheless, when we say time paradox, this doesn't mean it is inevitable only, but it has got some solutions as well. Paradoxes like bootstrap and grandfather are situations in which the sequence of events becomes logically biased and totally awkward to cope with. However, the solution for such a paradox often seems to rely on maintaining self-consistency within the timeline. Igor Dmitrievich Novikov, a Russian physicist, proposed a theory known as Novikov's self-consistency principle. This theory suggests that time travel can be possible, but it should not lead to paradoxes or illogical events. He meant that any event from the past should be consistent throughout, no matter which era is going on. In essence, nothing can be changed in a way that contradicts established history. For example, if a traveler travels back in the past and tries to change any historical conflicts, his attempts should be failed no matter what. Whatever happened is have to be constant, consistent, and intact. This theory suggests that time loops and self-consistency are inherent in time travel, preventing paradoxes. So, that's the end of this video. I am sure you guys must have enjoyed traveling back in time while living in a time.